Welcome to the MovieZoo basic training tutorials. This is video number one of four and it's called My First Video. I'll be introducing you to the features within MovieZoo and I will be rapidly creating a cartoon from start to finish. So let's jump in and see what we can do. Okay, I've got MovieZoo just open here and I'm confronted with the new scene window and I've got a blank set, I've got a previously open set. Down the side here I've got various other sets that I can click on to customise and play around with. For this uh, tutorial I'll be moving into the historical section and I'll be going for the Western Street. Okay, so Western Street's loading in. Okay, here we are in the Western set. What does every Western need? It needs a cowboy, so let's find one or make one up. Uh, we will go to get one in here. Now don't worry how fast I'm doing things here. Uh, all these different things you will see will be covered in further tutorials. All I'm doing here is showing off how fast you can make things within MovieZoo. So I will now go to edit and I'll go and give him a hat. This is uh, the edit portion of MovieZoo for characters. I'll give him a hat, move in a slightly more, back into edit and what will we do, we'll give him some spurs, he's a cowboy, he needs that and he needs a, a gun belt around his waist, um, around his neck, how about a nice uh, western scarf. Alright so there's his cowboy, his name's Skinner, good cowboy name and uh, let's give him something to say. Okay. So we'll go prepare audio, we'll go new and I'll quickly edit the audio track, choose one, import an audio track or record one, I'll record one. Why well, howdy there stranger, you must be new in these parts, I ain't seen you before. Heck, I ain't seen anyone in this town before. Right okay that's uh, that's my audio done, so I'll just click OK. I'll put the volume up in that. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll go to OK and I'll go prepare dialogue, character Skinner. I'll get him to lip sync to that track, audio track 1. I'm happy with that, I won't do any talk or shush stuff. I'll move him back there and I'll go to direct character movements. Click record, I get a countdown, nice countdown. Well, howdy there, stranger. And you must be new in these parts. I ain't seen you before. Towards myself. Heck, I ain't seen anyone in this town before. Okay. You might have noticed he was walking and talking there. Very talented. So there we go. He's walking and talking. I can look at the timeline. The timeline shows all the different things that we've recorded. Um, and here's the audio track. So if I look at where... The movement is, the movement's there, I'll just move the end point up, this is the start and this is the end point, everything in between is recorded there. So I'll put that there and I'll go back up, in fact I'll move that down here and I'll have him talking halfway through his walk. So I'll put the marker there, I can make cue points but I won't do that just now, and I'll put that audio track just there. I can zoom in on my audio track. Yep, that's just about nice. Just about right. So there we go and let's see where he stops. Right, so he stops round about there. Is that where I want him to stop? Or shall I move him over? Right, I want him to stop round about there. Start there and stop there. Okay, right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to animate his head and eyes. Direct character head and eyes and put it back to the start. We'll go for his head, click record and I'll have him looking around a bit. Looking around his town, looking up, looking down. Well, howdy there, Let's stranger. You must be new in these parts. I ain't seen you before. Heck, I ain't seen anyone in this town before. Okay, so that's that. Back to eyes. I'll just animate his eyes 
from where he stops. So I'll click record, 3, 2, 1, countdown. You must be new in these parts. I ain't uh -huh. seen you before. Heck, Animate his I ain't seen anyone in this town before. Okay, and then the eye size, I can do the same for that. Just go back in time. 3, 2, 1. Be new in these parts. I ain't seen you before. Heck, I ain't seen anyone in this town before. Okay, so there we go. They've got eye size recorded. And his eye pupil movements and his head and his character movement. So the next thing we want to do is direct character actions. So, uh, character actions, here we are. I can use these random ones, I could try that just now. Let's have a go at that. Three, two, one. And uh, we'll click on Happy Pose. Another Happy Pose, same one. Well, howdy hey, there, stranger. One. You must be new in these parts. I ain't seen you before. Heck. I ain't seen anyone in this town before. There we go. So I just used those random ones. I could put in my own ones uh, from a big list. But I'm um, happy with that just now. So at the moment, with cameras we've got, this is one here, which is over there, I think. Yep, as you see, I can move that and bring it over. And I'll turn it around. Point it right at our cowboy. Right, position it exactly where I want. And I think I'll move over here and I'll create another camera just round about here. Create camera. And now we've got two. And this will catch him walking across the town. And uh, I could have a third, I could have a fourth camera, but I'll just stick with these two just now. Right, so back to the start, direct camera cuts. And just move them into a better place. And uh, I'll move into a better place as well so I can see the action. And we'll click record. And once I've cl clicked record, I'll just switch between the camera views. So, there he is walking across. Well, howdy there, stranger. The you must be new Stop in these there. parts. I ain't seen you before. Heck, I ain't seen anyone in this town before. Okay, so that's the whole thing animated. Right, I'll quickly change the lighting. Now, as I say, everything I'm doing here, I'm doing really fast. I'm just. Uh, showing off the features of MovieZoo. I'll put the ambient brightness right down. I'll go to, I'll take the lights out. Uh, come back in a second once I've done that. Okay, I've deleted all the lights now and this is the ambient brightness. I can put that right down and then I'll create a light. I'll move this over here just now and I will create just a bog standard omnidirectional light. And this is just to show you uh, how good the lighting system is within MovieZoo. Let's see this. Look at that. I think this is when it really comes to life. Um, shadow sharpness. Uh, I'll just change the properties of this light. I can make the distance of the light smaller. I can make the brightness better. Okay, look at that, isn't that amazing? And then I will go to the colour of the lights. I'll make it blue, make it a more nighttime kind of scene. Okay, and I can get that light and I can copy, paste. So I've got two of them now. I'll move that one over there. I'll light up this bit over here. You can position your lights wherever you want. So now when I go to output my video, it would have all this lighting 
uh, I would have all my camera cuts in place. Um, the you really are spoilt for choice when it comes to what you want to do with this program. Um, there's so many different things. I'll just quickly change a few things just to show you. There you go. I've just changed uh, the color of the light, moved it up a bit, and it looks uh, in the brightness, and it looks more like a kind of daytime scene. Um, I can go into edit environment and I can change the sky texture. I was selecting the ones within again. You can import your own. I've selected a kind of daytime one. Then I'll change the illumination of that. So we've got a nice bright sky. You can create effects. So it can be raining, or snowing. Can change the intensity of the snow. I could have fire. I could set fire to the the shack behind him there. And I could animate that over time. Um, you can have objects moving around, animated. There's so much you can do with this program. As I say, this is only the first tutorial. An introduction to MovieZoo, the things that it can do, um, there's not much it can't really. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy yourself, watch the other tutorials and you'll see in more in depth how to do what I've just been doing and uh, have fun. See you later. Bye bye.